Hello, my fashion lover. Today, we'll be looking at how to draft or cut a swimsuit. How to cut a swimsuit. We'll make use of our pattern paper, ruler, tape, curve ruler, our marker, and our scissors. Please, if you have not subscribed, it's free. Click on the subscription button to support my channel it is free please subscribe all right let's go to the drafting the shoulder measurements i'm working with the swimsuit is for a 10 year old girl the swim the shoulder measurement i'm working with is 11 when you divide it by 2 divide the shoulder by 2 when you divide the shoulder by 2 you have 11 and 5 and half divide the shoulder by 2 you have 5 and half this 5 and half will bring it down here Bring it down five and a half, half inch for the shoulder slope, and five and half for the ample length. You connect. For the neck, because it's a swimsuit, I'll be taking three and a half. Three and a half for the neck. And for the length, I'll be taking three inches for the neck. From her shoulder for her half length i'll make use of her half length her half length is 11 inches so from the shoulder i'll mark 11 inches for the half length and for the hip line for the, for the hip line from this half length waist length i'll be taking seven inches for her hip line and i will connect then let me take her measurement her chest measurement is 26 when you divide it by four you will have six one quarter you have six one quarter and i'll place it here there won't be sewing allowance because i'm going to make use of a stretchy fabric always make use of a stretchy fabric when you're sewing your swimsuit there will be no zip nothing and for the waist her waist is still 26 when you divide it by four you have six one quarter and from the waist i'll come down by two inches from the waist i'll come down by two inches and i'll connect it then from the hip from the hip i'll come in by one inch coming by one inch can you see that then i'll use my curve to connect from this point i will 
connect and connect this one for this one i will check the middle of the ample square in half I'll come in by half an inch. I'll come in by half an inch, then I'll connect. And this is our swimsuit for the front. Now we are going to cut. With this, I'm going to use it to draft the back. If you have any question please ask in the comment section i didn't put any sewing allowance because it's going to be a going to sew it with a stretchy fabric and for the back i'll just place the front I'll just place the front here, no zip allowance. The only difference with the front and the back is the, the hip side and the neck. And for this side, instead of coming in like this, I'm going to come out and connect. So that it will cover the back side and I'll connect. Then I'll cut the back side. See what open the back. See what open the back. So I'll come in by two inches and connect. Still want the back to be open because there won't be any zip. So I'll connect it to the and. And with this, I'm going to use it to draft to cut the material. I'll be making use of this stretchy fabric to 
cuts. Just place your place your pattern paper and cuts. Make sure you fold it. Make sure you fold it and cut. This is for the back. Your stretchy fabric, if you don't know how to handle it when cutting, please get your pin. This is the back. Cut the front. It is the back. Cut the back. Let's cut the front. Let's cut. By the time you open it up, this is how it's going to be. Then you go ahead and join. Can you see how it's going to? You go ahead and join. Use your weaving machine to weave. Just join, join, and you can fold or use your bias to tidy it up. Thank you very much. Please, if you have any question, ask in the comment section. Thank you.